So ICRAF and C4 are working together in researching climate smart agriculture and Red Plus approaches for the benefit of smallholders and to advise national governments on how best to position themselves in their national spheres and also in the international arena. When we look at the, the sole red purpose, stopping deforestation, it's a great and worthy goal. But the price of carbon and that market instrument and the guilt often of northern countries is not going to solve the problem. That, that, that forest has to be valued by the local stewards of it. They have to have ownership of it, they have to have rights to it and understand it. And so ICRAF and C4 work with national governments in terms of policy understanding, in terms of stakeholders, in terms of approaches to try and mainstream those with economic growth. In relation to uh, actual tools and practices on the ground, we're also involved in pilot projects and other schemes to try and understand the differences and the motivations of smallholders to be engaged. The first action has got to be a political action. There's got to be awareness and understanding and recognition of the importance of the issue and also how it is going to be mainstreamed into the various sector programs. Without that political support, without that policy under, underpinning, there will not be radical change. We will have isolated successes, but not the fundamental systemic approach and changes that are needed to revitalize and prepare Vietnamese agriculture for the changing future. So the Climate Smart Agriculture approach is about bringing the future to the present, understanding what those changes will be and how small-scale farmers will respond to those. Vietnam itself has a, is largely a, a rural population, perhaps 75% of people are living in rural areas. That will change over time, but still a significant portion, proportion of GDP and the population will be derived from those rural landscapes. And they can't be turned on and off. They are people's lives, they're functioning ecological systems, and how they're going to cope to changes in water availability and to changes in temperature are crucial to support and development and growth of a country like Vietnam.